Hi guys, how are you today? I'm back with another tutorial. Do you want to know how to install the PPTP VPN server on your VPS? Tune into this video as I guide you through the steps. Let's get started. First of all, run the app get update command to update the list of system packages. After that, you need to install the PPTPD package. Enter Y if prompted. Okay, looking good now. Now we have to set the IP addresses assigned to the clients. Open pptpd.conf with a text editor, and then add these lines at the end of the file. Local IP 192.168.0.1 Remote IP 192.168.0.101-200 one thing you should know is that PPTPD requires at least one username and password to connect, so we are going to set those credentials. Open the file chap secrets like the previous file and add your user credentials like this. An arbitrary username, asterisk, which means any service. An arbitrary password, asterisk, which means any IP address. Don't forget to change these values according to your needs, especially user credentials. In order for client traffic to forward correctly after connecting, you must enable IP forwarding in sysctl configurations. Open the file sysctl.conf and uncomment the line net.ipv4.ip underline forward is one. Okay. Now run the sysctl-p command to make the changes take effect right away. We also need to set IP tables rules so that client traffic is passed correctly. To do so, find the name of the default network interface being used by your system. Execute the command IP root list default to find out the default interface. Now that we have identified the default interface, we can run these commands. You can find the IP tables commands in the link in the description. Configuration is all done. It's time to restart the PPTPD service and wait a few seconds for the service to come up. Okay, you've done it. The service is up and running. But wait, we're not finished yet. Let's enable the service so it also restarts on reboots. Now we're done. I hope this tutorial was useful. There is also a hyperlink provided in the caption if you need additional information. If you have any specific tutorial requests, please feel free to leave a comment for me.